So guys, I got called back up to the car lot. Now they, I think this is the same one that we just did with the torque angle sensors, the 2017 Subaru uh, Outback. And they want me to go after these airbags, seat cushions, this B1872 and B876. Airbag, I guess that's left hand and right hand. So I'm gonna look these up in repair information real quick and then we'll go from there. So guys, I came under the seat. I don't know if you can see this, but there's two connectors that are the same. And I wonder if they might've mixed these up like the other car. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug one and see what the code says and then try to see where it goes. So guys, if I unplug this one right here, no changing codes. I unplugged that other one that's still connected. I get a code because you can see it. It says passed right here because I unplugged it and then I cycled the ignition, turned it back on, and then it says passed. So we're going to measure the resistance of that airbag. I think it says 10 ohms in the information. Yeah, right here. Is the resistance less than 10 ohms? So we're going to check it real quick. We'll see. I don't know if it tells us what it's supposed to be in here. But we're going to check the resistance real quick. So guys, I got my Zeus set up on an ohm scale. Come under here, see we're front probing it right there, and we're reading 10 ohms. I just pulled it off. No, I didn't pull it off. Oh, I mean, sorry, we're reading unlimited ohms, so it's it's probably open circuit. So I'm going to uh, see if I have a resistor here that we can put in series and simulate an airbag. See if the car likes it. So guys, I'm using the AES Wave U test kit, and I grabbed one of the uh, airbag simulator, I think they call it, or bypass kit, and I put a resistor in. Right, like it's like three to four ohms. This one's measuring at. So I'm gonna hook this up, cycle the key, and we'll see if our code goes away. So guys, look at this. Now it says passed for that one with the simulator in there, or whatever you wanna call it, bypass tool. I got it probed right there. So it's a bad airbag. So we'll go to the other side. We'll test that one. Okay guys, so here's the passenger side. I unplugged the same plug as the other side. And look at this. Pass codes. They're all passed. So we'll go up to the front, we'll start the car up. If it starts, the battery might be dead from having the key on. But if this starts and we don't have an airbag light, confirm fix. See. I don't see an airbag light. I have the door open though in the back, so yeah, no more airbag light. Let's see where the airbag light's at. Oh, our airbag light's down there in the bottom right. So yeah, it needs two seat cushion airbags. Hope you guys like this. Look at that. All past codes. Past. 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 So that's what it needs. Hope you guys like it. See you later.